All right, everybody, so here's the situation. We just got all of our luggage off of the baggage carousel. We took it outside to the curb. My dad got an Uber and took himself and all of his luggage home while we are gonna be walking with a couple items and a couple little people all the way to our fertility appointment, which is in 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Okay you guys, so it is currently really, really, really early in the morning. When we left for this trip, we said it was really early, it was 7 a.m. Right now, can you see that? Right now it is? It is 3.45 in the morning. 3.45 in the morning. We slept three hours? Alex, I don't think slept at all. Did you even sleep? I slept a little bit. 2.45 California time and we've got a two and a half hour drive to the airport. And then we are going to return the rental car, get checked in, and then hopefully get on our plane on time. right now and I'm about to take the rental car back and take the shuttle back to the airport and hopefully meet them on time at the gate for our departure. Well, we've arrived right on time at seven o'clock and just in time for an extremely long check-in line. Yeah, I'm really, really glad we got here as early as we did, but it still seems it might be a little tight. All right, so we got your security. We accidentally left a jar of Nutella in Kinsey's diaper bag, so we got stopped for a little bit, but that's not bad. Um, so we got through, and now we are off to the train because the Denver airport is so Huge. big that you have to take trains to like different things. Well, it's begun. Uh, she has started turning around and saying hello to every single person Hi. that she can see through the cracks. ready to start running around. I don't know if she's ready to run. She's just ready for a daddy hug. All right, everybody, so here's the situation. We just got all of our luggage off of the baggage carousel. We took it outside to the curb. My dad got an Uber and took himself and all of his luggage home while we are gonna be walking with a couple items and a couple little people all the way to our fertility appointment, which is in 20 minutes ago. All right, Alex. So you guys, we just got off the Uber with mom, Kinsley, Alex, and I. Alex, why are you carrying a car seat? <laughs> this is, I just... <laughs> it's basically because we need to get another Uber to go home and we just are taking all of our stuff inside of the appointment. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
okay, I'm just going to sit right there. So that's huge. So that I've been kind of going back and forth of like, should we be doing this IVF now? Like, should we just wait, wait till after the baby's born? I feel like that ultrasound was like a really good confirmation that this is like a really good time. So it's taken five months for my my left ovary to kind of come back into come back to life. Five months. Kind of a long time. Is it? No. Really excited about Alex's appointment. So, so excited. Are you? I don't know, I guess, yeah. It's, it, it was a really good, like, if it wasn't perfect news, then, then maybe we would wait and just do this later. But, I don't know, it's, it's good timing and I don't know. Okay, here's the thing, you guys. One, we didn't plan on this adoption. We were looking to do IVF from the very beginning. Two, an amazing blessing of an adoption just jumped into our laps. Yeah. So, the only thing that I'm super, uh, I'm sort of nervous about, it really is the financial implications of it all. Um, but we're trying to fundraise for adoption um, while we pay out of pocket for IVF. But the thing is, we don't have to pay the but, whole thing of IVF. It's like literally half. So it, it's a huge difference from us doing the whole thing of doing the, the transfer and everything to only doing this part. It's, it's a big difference. Hopefully my swimmers will be up to the task to, to get into those eggs and to start fertilizing. We're gonna try to get this Uber here as fast as possible, get her home, take a nap, and hopefully not wake up for many, many hours. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I want you to find something in this room that is different. Is this for birth certificate? Kinsley Grace Hondelier. It's your birth certificate. It came in the mail. We needed this when we were flying. Yeah, we needed this this week. Well, you are up. What are you doing? You are up. I'm starting to think up doesn't mean up anymore. Up means like change of direction. Either means up or down. Can you see it? Look, your birth certificate, Kins. Are you so proud? Look at it. You're a congelier. Smile. Wow. Kinsley, smile. Cheese. Cheese.